Hey guys, in this video we have a few new work from home jobs that don't require interviews at a company that also doesn't require a lot of phone calls and requires very little experience, if any, for most of these jobs. You can also do these at many different times of the day or through th throughout the week. They are part time and have very flexible hours. So we're looking at We Localize. They have a lot of new no interview work from home jobs that I haven't really covered a lot yet. And these are not going to be the typical ones that I've covered in the past. So you can see they have a lot of different jobs available and we're mostly going to focus on the AI services section here. So mostly we're looking at the first few categories of jobs and these are the ones that you can get without a typical interview the first one we're looking at is a research content writer position this is a part-time position and basically it involves uh, content writing and also a basically the ai field so they offer they offer comprehensive learning support making it a great opportunity to gain writing experience in the ai field and for this job, your responsibilities are to conduct thorough research and ensure factual accuracy in all writing assignments, simplify complex topics into clear, concise content, synthesize information from various sources to create coherent labels, summaries, and mappings, and research and refine short form written content. So content types include the content will be produced. That includes, but not limited to, succinct blog posts, essays, articles, summaries, and cover letters. So they want you to be able to re be responsible for maintaining factual accuracy and adhering to the style and guidelines in all pieces. Now they tell you a little bit of details here, 10 to 20 hours a week. W-2, if you're in the US, if you apply outside the US, it's usually freelance. But for this one, I believe the only um, location they have this available right now is in the US. So if you look up here, and their actual listings page, you'll notice that the research content writer only has one location available right now. So this is $25 per hour and is remote. They are currently hiring in many different states. You will also have to sign a non-disclosure agreement and you have to verify your identity and that you are able to legally work in the United States. They're looking for a good English level in terms of linguistic competency must be located in the US, experience in journalism, editing, copywriting, or something like that, proven capability to create written content in line with set guidelines meticulously, proficient in developing well-organized paragraphs and comprehensive content, sharp attention to detail. They do say university degree in journalism, translation, applied languages, or equivalent combination of education and experience. So you don't necessarily have to have a, deg a degree if you have some sort of experience. If you don't have experience, if you do have a degree, let them know and you should still be able to apply. So it's kind of like either or or some combination. Experts in technical writing tasks, ability to follow guidelines, basic knowledge of AI data structures and approaches, agile and effective at working in a constantly changing environment and naturally curious. $25 an hour, again, you do get benefit options here as well. Usually this is only for the United States when it comes to benefits, but you get a few things like paid sick time, insurance, 401k and those types of things. So typically what you do instead of a, a interview at these companies at a place like we localize in the AI community section, usually you take a test instead of a typical interview, but that's usually how it works here. Next, we also have an entry level AI data rater. I'm using the, I'm using the English Canada one as an example. If you look at the data annotation section here, they have many many of these jobs available for entry level AI data raters. So for this, what you're going to do, they're looking for people who are tech savvy and it's an excellent starting point for entry level candidates. So usually that means very little experience will be required and they offer comprehensive learning support for this job. It's a great opportunity to gain experience in data annotation and data rating within the AI field. So you will follow project specific guidelines to conduct research on e-commerce data, evaluate the usefulness of product filters and results based on the research and rate the e-commerce data according to the guidelines. Five to 15 hours a week, set your own schedule. Pay rate is around $15 an hour, but that can vary depending on your country. Again, they have many different countries they're hiring for right now. Basically, you'll be part of the freelance community. So you for sure should not have to have any kind of interview for this one. Payment rates for future projects may vary, but for this, they also want you to have English level. That's very high level. Um, this will also possibly vary depending on which country you apply in. 
must be located in the country you're applying you apply in of course you reside in the country you're applying in web savvy uh, preferably previous experience and search relevant tasks but not necessarily required online research skills attention to detail performing enough research during allocated time reliable computer and internet and you will have to sign a non-disclosure agreement and pass training and a required quality test before you start again that's usually what they do instead of an interview so that is another one to check out right now the entry level ai data rater positions they also have ai response evaluators they have a few different ones like this so they have a bunch of different ai response evaluators all over the world in many different languages these are mostly freelance remote jobs as well and for these basically they also want you to be tech savvy it's also another type of job that's entry level and you will learn a lot again about data annotation and data rating in ai so they're looking for people sometimes they're looking for people that were basically uh born in another country and but also now live in the current country you're supposed to apply in so just make sure you read through all the requirements for these and they want you to be closely connected to certain cultures for these jobs so this will help a lot because they are developing ai in many different ways with a lot of these jobs and they need you to really understand certain things and certain cultural aspects of the job but this is another part-time side job that you can do it's not really meant to be a full-time gig basically you will follow project specific guidelines to assess and contrast two replies given by a retail assistant in response to a particular customer question you will evaluate the responses based on parameters like safety pertinence usefulness and alignment with the virtual assistant's tone and style so you're helping train an ai virtual assistant and then you'll choose the most appropriate response or determine if both are unsatisfactory so more details about this job they are looking for you to start around mid-june so you need to apply for these very quickly this may also again vary depending on the country but this is usually only like one to four hours a day three days a week you won't work a lot during weekends either and this one they say $16 an hour but again the pay rate varies quite a bit depending on your country and depending on which job you're doing but basically again you're going to be part of the freelance community and a lot of this stuff is things that we've already been over at some of the other jobs but they want you to be proficient in the languages you're applying in you have to have these uh, certain location requirements you live in the country that you are applying in usually for the last five years sometimes you have to have been closely connected to another culture as well and then again most of these are english and where you reside and different language requirements how many hours a week you can dedicate to this which this one is a minimum of six hours per week to the project web savvy preferably previous experience in the e-commerce field but not necessarily required attention to detail ability to perform sufficient research non-disclosure agreement will have to be signed and training as well as a quality test will be kind of how you apply and get accepted for this job so again this is a entry level ai response evaluator which they have many available right now they also have these audio data creators this is another very new job that i haven't seen really at we localize before as far as how many of these audio data creator jobs they have if you're looking at data collection this is what they typically have available right now they have four different ones in four different countries and if you're looking to do something like this they do need you to speak a certain language so for instance this may be located in the u.s but you have to basically speak cherokee so it's a little bit different than some of the other jobs in the u.s make sure that you actually speak the proper language for these particular jobs because what they do is they collect audio data to train ai models for voice recognition so they're training voice recognition uh, technology using ai and this is where you come in and help train them so basically you're going to learn a lot about enhancing voice recognition capabilities with ai you'll follow project guidelines to create accurate audio recordings use provided questions to respond and create a variety of audio content and ensure recordings are clear by following technical and environmental standards they will provide a list of prompts or questions for you to use when making audio recordings your task will be to respond to these questions in the Cherokee or whatever language while audio recording your answers simultaneously. You will use your own computer or mobile device to do these. You need to also be passionate about preserving that language and culture. And basically, if you know someone who speaks the language and could be interested, please share the opportunity with them. So requirements are, again, the language requirements, 
which this one, they have a couple of different languages you need to speak. You have certain instructions you'll have to follow, technical skills like using recording equipment and software, which is usually pretty easy to use. You can do that, figure it out with a YouTube video. Reliable equipment for recording. You can even use your phone, quiet environment, and then time commitment, which shouldn't be much of a time commitment really. But in terms of another kind of side job that you can do part-time, you could be an audio data creator, which they have you know, four different ones available right now. And then last but not least, we have the freelance video editor. This has been here uh, probably the longest of the ones I'm showing you in this video, but it's still a job that's not typically here at We Localize. But this is one where you can be a, a freelance video editor, which means you actually don't have as much of a commitment time-wise and also doesn't require as much experience. So if you love video editing, maybe you've done this maybe like as a side hustle or just in your spare time as a hobby, they're currently hiring video editors to tell visual stories. It's an entry level position, which usually means very little required to apply, but at least one year of social media video editing experience would be preferred. Again, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to have done it professionally for a company. Responsibilities, edit film snippets into a comprehensive story, trim these sections as needed, input music, dialogues, graphics, and effects, create rough and final cuts and continuously discover and implement new editing technologies and industries and best practices to maximize efficiency. Requirements, proven work experience as a video editor, one year preferred. Again, not necessarily with a company, but solid experience with digital technology and editing software packages. Now, some of these, these last two don't really tell you how much they pay. So audio data creator and video editor, we don't know exactly how much they are willing to pay you. Now we can go to We Localize in their salaries page and look for these particular jobs, but these are not some of the more common ones that you would normally find here. For instance, you don't see any kind of drop down for an audio data creator. If you click on video editor, they also don't have any reviews yet. Now typically a video editor can make around 67,000 a year which means you could make somewhere around $32, $33 an hour or something like that. Now you, I can look up like a data creator, but nothing really came up for a data, for an audio data creator or like an audio collector would be another one you could try. But like for instance, a data creator, just in general, if that's even the, the most similar job you can find would be 79,000 a year. So that'd be more like closer to just under $40 an hour. But unfortunately, unfortunately, audio collector, things like that do not really have any like results when it comes to salary averages. But I would say this is probably a little bit high based on what you're doing. But as far as what's like to work at We Localize, 3.6 out of five stars, 68% recommend working here to a friend. Some of these jobs you might be able to get benefits. What I do, I wouldn't really, you know, I wouldn't expect a whole lot from benefits, but you might get some insurance, 401k, things like that. And they have a 2.8 out of five star rating for their benefits. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. If you like these types of opportunities, they're a little bit different than what I normally cover at companies like this. If you like these, please click the like button. It helps me understand what types of content you prefer. And don't forget to leave a comment if you wanna suggest something that I cover in future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.